Hey, workout partners, Blake Castle here with Body Elastics. Would you like to be able to mark this workout complete and then be fed the very next workout in the series? Well, we have your solution, and the best part, it's totally free. Click on the link in the description for your free account. Have a great workout. Hey, this is Jen G with LiveExercise.com. We're getting ready to start our first body weight workout. Let's get started. Let's not waste any time. We're going to start with a little warm up just to get those heart rates up. Nothing crazy. Just start with a step up. Get those knees up. Get those heart rates up. Swing your arms. Add them in. Get those knees a little higher. And we're going to add a little jump. When you're ready, up, up up get those heart rates up just a little bit get those knees up and remember to keep your arms moving five more three more two and last one go back to a little march with those knees up and we're going to open up that stance a little bit right here open it up keep those knees going up up Add your arms, open it up, and bring it a little higher. You should start feeling your heart rate getting a little bit higher than it was to start with. Good, keep it moving. Five more, four more, three, two, and last one. All right, bring it back together. Keep marching and bring it down. All right, we're going to get started. We're going to go right into it. Start this off with some lunges. Start with one foot forward. The other foot's going to go back. Remember, keep your shoulders square. Tuck those abs in and drop that back knee down to the floor. Make sure this front knee doesn't pass your toe. All right, we're going to go for 15 lunges. Good, all the way down. Remember to get that back knee down. Five more, four, three, two, last one, and hold it right here. Put your hands on your hips, and we're gonna go for half lunges. 10 more, we're going for 15 again. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand it up, go right into that second leg. Full lunges, same thing, shoulders back, abs are tight. 15, 10 more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down and half lunges for 15. Keep it low, you guys. Get that back knee down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. And we're gonna take it down to the floor for some push-ups. You can do these either on your knees or on your toes. Keep your hands below your shoulders. Abs are tucked in. And drop it down and up, down, up. Let's work those shoulders and that chest a little bit. If you get tired halfway through and you're on your toes, finish up on your knees. Good, go for eight more. Five, four, three, two. Oh, why did I suck at push-ups? All right, you guys, we're gonna stay right here on the floor. I want 15 mountain climbers on each leg. Bring those knees up into your chest. This will get your heart rate up if it's not already up. Good, and stand it back up. Let's start it from the top with your lunges, okay? All right, first leg forward, down and up. Keep that form perfect. 10 more. Good, get that back knee down, shoulders back. Abs are still tight, three more, two, last one. Remember that hold, and 15. Don't go too high, keep it low. Try and get that thigh parallel to the floor. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. No break right there. Go right into those lunges. All the way down and all the way back up. Ten more. Don't lean forward. Keep that chest up. One, and go for that hold up. Two, three, four. Come on, go for 15. Seven more. Two, and stand it up. Go right back into those push-ups. I'm looking for 15, remember, on your knees or on your toes. Take it up and up and down. Good. Keep moving. Remember, if you get tired, take it down on your knees and finish on your knees. Five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here and give me those mountain climbers. Fifteen on each side. And 15 for those mountain climbers. Try and keep your hip, hips level, your hips flat. Try not to keep your butt so high in the air. Go right into that third set, you guys, last time. Ready? Lunges for 15. Shoulders back and drop that back knee down to the floor. I'm a little bit sick. So that's why I'm breathing heavy. Well, that and I just had a baby eight weeks ago, so I'm a little bit out of shape. But the sickness doesn't help. <laughs> Five more. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Get that back knee down. You guys don't get lazy. Halfway up. Don't go all the way up. Keep it low. Five more. Last one. Oh, my leg just starting to shake. All right, you guys, 15 lunges and go. Six, seven. Last set. Keep going. You got five more. Three, two, one, hold it there, keep it low. I hope your legs are shaking. Four, ten more, last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'm out of breath. All right, guys, take it down to the floor. Last set of push ups. I hate push ups, but they're so good for you. They're real good body weight exercise. You can take it with you anywhere you go. On your toes or on your knees, do what you can. Keep your body level, abs are in, drop it down and up. All right, five more. And what's that? All right, last one. Last set of mountain climbers. Come on, you guys, keep going. Drive those knees up for 15 on each side. Total of 30. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, one. And stand it up. All right, that was our first block of exercise. We got two more to go. Hopefully that's our hardest. I'm gonna let you take it down on the floor because I need a break. Hopefully you do too. We're gonna start with triceps. Place your hands back behind you. Your feet are gonna go in front. Your fingers are facing the rest of your body. You're gonna push it up. Same thing, tuck those abs in. You can keep your feet out here. If that's too easy for you, you can bring them in a little bit and take one foot up. 
just for a little bit extra. If not, keep both feet firmly on the floor and drop it down. Make sure your elbows don't flare out to the sides. Keep them going straight backwards. I'm looking for 15. 10 more. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Roll it over onto your stomach. We're gonna go into a plank position right here. Down on your forearms, start here, plank. You wanna keep your butt down in line with your back. We're gonna go for plank push-ups. Work those shoulders 15 times up and down. Keep those abs in tight, you guys. Don't let your belly low. Keep it up there. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are tough. Work your way up. Five more. Four, three, two, Last one, and we're gonna hold it here, back down. I want 15 plank jacks from here. Keep that butt low. 10 more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, and back to those triceps. <laughs> All right, 15 tricep dips. Remember to challenge yourselves. If it gets too easy, go for that one leg up, okay? I'm gonna try it with one leg up. I'm getting crazy. Up and down, you guys. Elbows go straight back. Ten and five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Roll it over for those plank push-ups. 15 again. All right, take it down onto your forearms. Start low, get your stomach down. This is working your core and your shoulders a ton. Just with your own body weight. Seven, halfway there you guys. Oh, and 10, five more, let's go. Three more, two, and last one. Drop it down, plank jacks for 15. Go, keep that butt low. Ten, five more, five. Four, three, two, last one. Oh, one more set. Just like that. And that's your second block of exercises. Take it back down. Go for those triceps. If you did that last set with one foot up, switch it. Take the other leg up, okay? Same thing. Get those hands on the floor. I'm just trying to waste time because I need to catch my breath. I'll be honest. Take it up, other leg, down and up. Three, four, five, ten more. Bend those elbows. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Roll it over for your last set of plank push-ups. All right, take it over. And remember to keep those abs in tight. Butts in line with your back. Start on your forearms right here. Drop your hips and push it up. 15. That's three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Check yourself, lower your hips if your butt's creeping up. That's 10, five more. Three, four, and five.
five. Last set of plank jacks. Oh, my lungs. Four, five, last ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, that was hard for me. All right, catch your breath. And we're going to stay on the floor for a minute. We're going to start with some abs. All right. Do what you can, you guys, if you find that too challenging, especially with the plank push-ups. Those are hard. Start with eight, work your way up. If you can't go for 15, do as many as you can, and the next time you do them, just go for one more every time. Don't give up. You gotta start somewhere. And trust me, I didn't start at 15. I shouldn't have started at 15 today, apparently. All right, let's go for crunches, okay? Nothing crazy, just an easy crunch. Squeeze it in, hands are at the sides of your head, and bring your knees up. That's 10, give me five more. Five, four, three, two, last one, and we're gonna take it over to our side. Clearly I love to plank. Take it over to a side plank. You're gonna add a twist, 15. Good. If that's too difficult, open up your feet. Or if that's still too hard, take your hip back down to the floor and you can get those oblique muscles from right there. But challenge yourself. So if you can get it up a little bit, go for it. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Switch sides, okay? Same thing. Start here if it's hard for you. If not, open up those feet. And if you're a little more advanced, take it right up. One foot on top of the other. Reach way under your arm. Six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more, four, three, two, last one, and lay it back down onto your back. We're going to go for some V-ups, 15 V-ups. Shoulders back, your legs are going to go out straight, and squeeze it up and back down. Don't let those heels touch the floor. Four. Five, my butt bone hurts. Should have grabbed a mat. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, I need to get a mat for the next one. I have a real bony butt, so it doesn't feel good. All right, we're going to finish up this set with some squats, just 15 squats. All right, shoulders back, abs are tight, don't lean forward. And watch those knees. Five more, four, three, Two, and I'm gonna grab a mat. <sighs> All right, we got two more sets of those. Grab that mat, and we're gonna go back to those crunches. All right, 15 crunches. Take it back. Oh, that feels so much better. All right, get those hands behind your head. Bring those knees in, and squeeze in, Back down, in, back down, squeeze. Remember to breathe, sometimes I forget. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, last three, 
two, and last one, roll it over, side plank, and remember it's a little bit easier if you open up your feet, not a lot, but a little bit. Do what you can, but don't forget to challenge yourself. Take it up, make sure right here, your elbow is below your shoulder, okay? You don't want it out here or too close to your body. Keep it directly from shoulder, straight line down to your elbow, and then push it up, okay? Straight line and twist. Two, three. Last 10 here. Nine, eight, reach it way under. Seven, six, five, four. You should feel that right in your obliques. And drop it down. Other side. You're going to feel that on the side of your obliques that's closest to the mat. All right? So when we switch it to this side, you're going to feel that on these obliques. Okay? Your obliques are on either side of your abdominals. Press it up. Good. Go for 15. Six. Seven. Five more. Three, two, one, and we're going to take it back into those V-ups, flatten it out onto your back, straight arms, straight legs, try not to bend those knees in your V-ups, okay? So squeeze it up and down. Oh, that feels so much better with the mat. Ten more. Don't let those feet touch the floor. Last five, four, three, two, and last one, get it up there. Oh, all right, stand it up. You got 15 squats. We're just adding lower body in with our abs just for fun. All right, shoulders back, drop it down. Go deep in your squats, okay? Keep those shoulders back. Don't lean forward and watch your knees. Don't let your knees go in. Keep them out. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, last one. And we got one more set. Back to your crunches. All right, lay it down, catch your breath, and straight back with your hands at the sides of your head, feet together, knees go in, and squeeze back down. Good, keep going. And last five, four, Three, two, last one. Roll it over, side plank. Take it up there and twist for 15. Three, four, big twist. Six, seven, eight, abs are tight. Last five, four, Three, two, last one, switch sides. This is it, you guys, you're almost there. Stay with me. Last set of side planks. Take it up and twist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. last five. Three, two, and last one. All right, let's go right into those V-ups. If you're getting tired, hopefully you are. If you're getting tired, just do what you can. You can bend your knees, but try and keep them straight. Straight legs, up and down. Five. Six, seven, eight, 
Lock that stomach in. 10, straighten up those knees. Two, three, last two, four, and last one. All right, still got that last set of squats. I bet you were hoping I forgot, but I didn't. All right, guys, perfect squats. This is it, last set of squats. Get those shoulders back. Remember not to lean forward. Feet are shoulder width apart. And drop it all the way down, deep as you can. Four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, you guys, I think we have a little bit of time left to get a quick stretch. I'm thinking. So just since we started with a lot of legs, let's just sit down and stretch out those legs just a little bit, all right? Take them out in front. Take your arms up and reach forward to those toes. Stretch out the back of your legs. Try and keep your knees straight if you can. If not, just do what you can. Hold it there, big stretch and roll it in. Take one leg in, the other leg's gonna stay straight out. Opposite arm is gonna go over, reach it way over, kind of reach over to the side a little bit, keeping this leg straight. Hold it, and then you're gonna go straight forward and grab onto that foot, or as close to your foot as you can get. If that's your ankle, that's great. If that's your foot, bend it all the way down, hold it. Uh, your heart rate should be starting to go back down. Minus, thankfully. Roll it back up and switch legs. Other side, okay? Same thing. Opposite arm, take it over. Big reach. And bring it back to the center. Turn your body facing that leg. Again, grab onto either your ankle or your foot, depending on your flexibility. Hold it there. This leg's not as flexible for me as the other side. So always do what you can. Hold it there. Now bring both feet in. You're gonna stand it back up. Both feet are gonna stay together. Hands stay touching the ground if you can. Hold it here, straighten up those legs. Hold it. Big stretch to the back of those legs, back of your knees. Hold it there and bring it up. One step out, a little bit of a wider stance. Hold it here, you're gonna bend this knee, okay? Drop it to the side, stretch out your inner thigh. Hold it here, don't drop your chin because your heart rates may still be elevated. Keep your head up, hold it. Then take it through the center to the other side, okay? Bend that knee, same thing, chin up, hold it. And bring it to the center. You're gonna take it forward down again. Right there, try and touch your forearms to the ground. Get a big stretch through those legs. Hold it here. And bring it up. Walk it back together. And thank you so much. I am Jen G. I'll see you next week on liveexercise.com for your body weight workout. Hope you have a great week. Thank you.